Hey campers, let's go ice fish. Brrr, cold. Hey campers, Georgia. Uh, just going through my possibles pouch here and uh, making sure I have everything put back because I tend to steal from it when I'm going out on a little day trip or something like that. So it's another blistering five degree day in uh, sunny Minnesota. It is sunny, but the wind's blowing and it's really cold. <laughs> Which brings me to another point, ice fishing. Can somebody tell me why two guys can sit in the same two-man ice clam within two to three feet of each other, the ice holes, ice holes, Steve, are three feet apart, using the same bait, same technique, can see everything with our fish finders. We see the same thing. And one guy catches fish. The other guy gets skunked. Can somebody answer that question? And yes, I know, it was me. I got skunked. And it's not the first time either. So maybe there's somebody out there who knows the secret. Anyway, here's some footage from the last ice fishing we did. And yeah, I got skunked. Travis didn't. He did okay. Not great, but he caught some nice ones. Check it out while I go through my possibles pouch and make sure I got everything I need. Because if I'm going to go out in this cold, I better have all my fire starting stuff together. <laughs> Check it out. Hey campers, let's go ice fish. Brrr, cold. cedar and it's cold very cold <laughs> this is a decent size I thought it was going to be skunk about nine maybe yeah nine inches nine but he's skinny yeah <laughs> so it's this person you know what? This is a fish. He doesn't want to get in either. There you go. We're going to drag a little bit. This is a big one. Pretty good one. Yeah. But he just barely got it. Yeah. Nice one. Nice one. Oh, what? Yeah. Ten inches. Eh, and it's nine and a half. Very yeah. But again, he's skinny. Yeah. There we go. The first home Giant. Game in team history. And we're not even mentioning perhaps the first MVP award huh. in team history, although I guess we just did. Ooh. And now Patrick we're getting all plugged up there. Oh, well. 
Look at that. All over there. There you go, my possibles pouch, it's together. So, you got any answers to the ever-present question we have as fishermen? Why does one guy catch and not the other? Anyway, possible pouches together. Got my 550 cord, my multi-tool, my headlamp, my compass, my whistle, my fire starter, a survival knife fire starters what else do I have spare set of glasses there you go anyway back to the whole fishing thing has anybody had that happen to them happens to me all the time seems to be one common denominator here hmm what do you do see that's why I fly fish People don't expect you to catch a lot when you fly fish. So I never disappoint. <laughs> Here you go. My possibles pouch. It's my old hammock bag for my, uh, for a hammock I bought way back. Pretty cool. So, don't forget, like, share, subscribe. You know the story. Tell me what's going on with my whole fishing thing in the comments below pretty sure I'll be back because I'm going to read the comments and I'm going to take some advice. Just saying. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you later. Bye.